If you like the dynamic island on iPhone 14, 15, or 16, and you want to get it on your iPhone 2, then watch this. In this video, I will show you how to enable real dynamic island features on all unsupported iPhone models. But first, hit the like and subscribe buttons down below. It really helps me out. Thank you. So here, as you see, I'm using iPhone XS, and I have real dynamic island on my device. With dynamic island, you can check alerts and current activities in progress such as a voice memo recording, an airdrop connection, and direction from maps in the dynamic island at the top of the home screen or at the top of the active app. The dynamic island is a great feature presented on the iPhone 14 series and today I will show you how to enable it to any device that runs iOS 16 and above. So let's get started. So the first thing you will do is go ahead and download Nugget Tool. So what is Nugget Tool? Nugget is a software that uses the latest this exploit to modify mobile gestalt, enabling some hidden system features on iOS devices without the need for a jailbreak. It likely works on iOS 16 through iOS 18. With Nugget, you can activate features like Dynamic Island on any device, change the device model name, enable boot time, set the charge limit, turn on stage manager, and many more. I tested it myself and can confirm that the Dynamic Island toggle feature work. Nugget requires you to generate a mobile gestalt file from your device and save it to Noggle's main folder. Okay, to download it, go to releases here. Now here, download the latest release you find at the top. The latest for now is 5.0.1. Scroll down here and download the version for your device. It works on macOS and Windows. Since I'm using macOS with Intel chip, I will download macOS Intel version. Okay, I've downloaded it. After downloading the tool, now you need to extract mobile gestalt file from your iOS device. There is a dedicated shortcut for the shortcut app to download the file from your device. I will show you how to do that. So let's jump to my iPhone. Okay, so here you will use this shortcut. This shortcut allows you to easily extract mobile gestalt and save it to files app. So go ahead and press get shortcut. Okay, this is it. Press add to shortcut. As you see, this is it. Now simply press on it. Here it will ask you to save the file. Save it anywhere you want. I will save it to files here. Okay, the file has been saved. Now what you need to do is go ahead and move the file to your Mac or PC. I will open files app. Okay, I will search for the file. This is the mobile desktop file. I will transfer it to my Mac using AirDrop. Here press the share button, here select airdrop. This is my Mac. Okay, the file has been sent. Now let's continue on my Mac. Okay, this is the file. Now let's install Nogit tool. Extract the file. Now move it to apps folder. Go ahead and open it. And as you see, this is the tool. Okay, the first thing you need to do is go ahead and connect your iOS device to your Mac. After connecting your iOS device, click the refresh button here. Okay, my device is now connected. First thing to do is to choose the mobile Gestalt file. So go to apply option here. Now here, select the Gestalt file. It's the file you extracted from your iOS device. I will choose it. Okay, this is it. Now here, go ahead to these options and enable the features you want to enable on your device. There are many features as you can see. You can enable boot chime, enable charge limit, enable tap to wake for iPhone SE, enable iPhone 16 settings, disable wallpaper parallax, enable stage manager supported, enable Medusa iPad multitasking, allow iPad apps on iPhone, disable region restrictions, and more. In springboard option here, you can enable these features such as disable lock after respring, Disable screen dimming while charging, disable low battery alerts, enable airplay support for stage manager and more. In internal option here you can enable some features like show build version in states bar, 
force right to left layout, enable iMessage and FaceTime debugging and more. In Demons option here you can find more useful options. Please note that not all features will work on your device as some features require a higher iOS version. Okay, what I'm gonna show you today is how to enable Dynamic Island. So go to Mobile Gestalt option here in this list, select which one is closest to your device's screen size. Since I'm using iPhone XS, so I will choose iPhone 14 Pro Dynamic Island. If you are using an iPhone Pro Max, select 14 Pro Max or 15 Pro Max. iPhone 14 Pro and iPhone XS have almost the same screen size. Once you enable the features you want, go to Apply option here and Apply Changes. Please make sure to disable Find My iPhone before apply the changes. Also make sure to back up your iOS device device before apply the changes. Once you click apply changes your device will restart. As you see my device is now restarting. And boom, as you see, now I have the Dynamic Island on my iPhone XS. Now, if you play a music, you will see it on the Dynamic Island as you see. You can easily control the music from the Dynamic Island. Okay, let's try it with timer. As you see, that's it. You can check timer, alerts, and current activities in progress, such as a voice recording, an airdrop connection, direction from maps, music in the Dynamic Island at the top of the screen or at the top of the active app. So this is how to enable Dynamic Island on your iPhone. If you are an iOS 16 user, make sure to use Misaka tool. It's almost the same as Nougat tool. Misaka supports iOS 16 and up, while Nougat tool require iOS 17 and above. So guys, this is our video for today, and as always, if you enjoyed watching this video, give it a like, hit the subscribe button for more videos, and peace.